Now, networking. Um, this is uh, an area, I mean, it, it does turn on technology, it does turn on security, but uh, uh, it may uh, seem a little weird. However, uh, traffic analysis. I believe that I have already mentioned traffic analysis and the importance of traffic analysis. And we have uh, situations where um, uh, you have this uh, statistical mass of probabilities and interesting things happen. For example, I believe that I have mentioned that um, as you start uh, increasing the input of uh, information traffic on Ethernet networks, um, the more you increase the input, the more you increase the uh, throughput until you reach a particular point, a tipping point, uh, the the traffic has increased uh, to this point and all of a sudden it f decreases and it falls off very drastically and and uh, you have a very sharp decline in uh, not just um, you know the, the success of, of communications getting through but um, of the throughput of the network overall. And we've reached this sort of traffic jam situation. We see this on city streets, on particularly busy streets, when, you know, rush hour hits, all of a sudden traffic moves slower rather than faster. Um, when we have, uh, you know, a bridge at, at rush hour, all of a sudden the traffic is bumper to bumper and everything is moving slower rather than faster. So um, this is a paradoxical uh, thing that happens. And, and, you know, physical traffic analysis and, and network traffic analysis gives us the same result. And the results are, are sometimes surprising. Now, another one that um, has come up recently, uh, and this is uh, maybe getting a bit out there, is um, the idea of herd immunity. Now, herd immunity, uh, we have discussed an awful lot in regard to the pandemic. And most people really don't understand what herd immunity is. And of course, we are now seeing problems where people who for whatever reasons are refusing to get their children vaccinated against measles and measles is coming back with a vengeance because we have you know the the concept well <laughs> let me tell you about, about herd immunity is a uh, uh, originally herd immunity was talking about actual herds the the uh doctors who were doing it were actually veterinarians and they were talking about uh, you know herds of cattle and in terms of certain diseases uh, again you know the uh, the point is the same the um, uh, you know reducing the number of diseased animals reduces the spread and and eventually you know when you reach this tipping point you know contagious diseases are contagious and until they drop below a certain threshold and and then you know and, and this depends on how contagious the disease is how close the proximity of individuals in the herd um uh you know general overall health and and, and various factors like that but you know, at some point, there is this precipitous drop-off, and, and, you know, the, you don't have to worry about the disease anymore, and that was what was basically happening with measles, um, and now we have to worry about it again, that, you know, we are uh, seeing cases of it, and it's, it's becoming serious, and uh, that is because we have dropped below the threshold of vaccinations, but originally, when they, when they were talking about herd immunity, uh, basically they were talking about culling the herd, 
if it was a diseased animal or, or culling the herd in terms of you know getting rid of the animals that were not vaccinated those are the ones that you harvest first so you know for those people who think that uh, you know vaccine resistance is a good idea uh, you know not getting vaccinated etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, you know think about that yeah you know maybe we need to call the herd that way however um, the this concept of herd immunity is something that also applies to network security um, uh, again you know I, I got my start in uh, malware research and researching computer viruses uh, particularly and the uh, malware uh, field is you know an interesting uh, place to look at things like this if you know um, we are not uh, protecting ourselves against an outside intruder we are trying to protect ourselves against actually our ourselves and um, by uh, increasing the the threshold of of safe animals of, of non-diseased entities in the network um, we therefore protect the whole network all, all of the nodes all of the devices connected to a particular network on the basis that we have reduced the number of infecting or, or weak uh, systems so um, that is something to apply in terms of uh, you know strengthening enough um, systems so that the overall system has a resilience and a resistance to um, infection attack uh, 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 failure uh, so on uh, so uh, it is uh, as I say you know it's kind of an out there concept but um, and it's it you know very little work has been done on it so far but it is something that we can do to protect our overall systems because networking is so much a part of what we do these days.